Well, hey, I'm back with um, episode number number six, five, five. Episode number five of today's session. So it's about five hours online already, which means that I will probably get kicked by the server soon. But hey, uh, I'm planning to to leave the space. By the way, um, if you didn't watch last episode, I decided to leave this place for good. Why I want to do that, you might ask. Well, um, it's time. It. It was always meant as a temporary base to gear up, get a little bit food so that I can continue. I was stopping uh, my highway tours because I had only like one stack of food left. And I wanted to re-equip, build a bed, get some food and now yeah, it seems like I finally have enough food to walk the highways a bit. Okay, that doesn't work, does it? So, I have wood, I have iron. I have coal, I have cobblestone, lapis, and Ah, oh, yeah, I should. Okay, so. What about. Uh. The. That. So I have two e chests in my e chest. Why should I carry all of them with me and rather. Put something in my e-chest that is more valuable than an e-chest. There is nothing that's more valuable than an e-chest because it's an ender pearl. So it's, yeah, so that's fine. That is fine, that is fine, that's fine. And then I will put this e-chest in here. And this emerald is not worth to be carried. Can I make some nice food out of pumpkins? Probably, but um, I don't want to look it up. I could even be running the highway. Well, I don't know. Should I run on the highway? But then my food is like... I don't know. It's not enough food for running. It's a bit much food though for not running. So I could start running until I have enough space in my inventory to collect all the stuff I find on the highway. Because I don't want to find like a block of diamond on the highway and then have to change like a stack of um, food uh, with a block of diamond. 
I mean, I have my Aegis, so that won't happen, but let's say I, I find a Elytra. I don't want to like throw away a stack of food just to get a Elytra. Potatoes. Okay, yeah, there's actually some food that we can squeeze out of these farms. But should I really fill up the rest with food? Should I keep these buckets? Should I um, uh, stay and enchant one more pig eggs? Uh, should I? Oh, mm, mm -hmm. Should I take some redstone with me? Should I take more coal with me? Mm. More cobblestone. Like what happens if, if I have to... Yeah, I can always mine netherrack to get building blocks quickly. But a broken pickaxe. Half broken pickaxe. Unbreaking. Yeah, I have like only one unbreaking pickaxe. And two pickaxes that I don't want to use. That's too bad. I can make a few iron pickaxes out of those. Should I take an arrow with me and a bow? Ah, so many questions, so many questions. Should I take wool with me to, um, you know? So, 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 so. I should have made like a to-do list, but <laughs> I don't know. Poisonous potato. Ten potatoes? Where are like 
That was more than 10 potatoes. Yes. farms that I forgot what is it? my nether crap that I planted nah not going to need that shit should I really take two buckets with me mm. Well, I mean, I'm almost level 30. I can probably enchant one more diamond pickaxe. Well, to block then one more sp slot in my inventory. Or to exchange this one and leave the other one here. Because I feel like I get the efficiency pickaxe next. Yes. Let's do that. That would be enough books for one more bookshelf. But I have like 54, uh, 45. Oh my gosh, that was so German. Um, tough choices, man, tough choices. I mean, if I have invested like one slot in my inventory already, it's only one diamond. I have books here. I can craft another one if I die and respawn here, but it will be useful like if I leave to take both with me. Okay. <laughs> I'm really going like all in, grab all the stuff I can carry. And yeah, I think I'm more than full already since I have more food that I can carry. So should I exchange a bucket of water? against a stack of food. Yes, I should. Cobblestone. What, like, is there anything you, well, for, uh, yeah, furniture. Like if I want to cook something, but what do I want to cook? Like, usually I would say cobblestone is neat because I can craft pickaxes, but I have 51 blocks of iron to craft pickaxes and if i want to craft a hole i could also use the iron and um you know what i take one more block of iron with me 
and all these things I missed like that I would use like stone for I would just use iron for and instead of that I would take one more stack of bread with me and I can't imagine I don't have a full stack of lab yeah, I would probably visit the other base to get more stuff and I would probably do it right now it's exciting isn't it it is exciting I will die like five seconds after I start or will or I will now get kicked by the server and when I come back my whole base is covered in lava and I die there if I eat those apples it's no fire resistance isn't it so that's bad broken stair Sixteen. So, it's so exciting. It's getting real, boys. It's getting real. It's getting real. Or should I? Nah, not a broken pickaxe over a stack of food. Nah. Won't do that. So, how do I get level 30 quickly? Kill a few skeletons, then wait for the stuff to melt. It even blew up some of the glass here. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, that will damage my armor and my food, but should be fine. Want to leave. I'm sure I've, I forgot something really obvious, something you actually need. I mean, I, I essentially have only one item I cannot farm again, and that's my shaka. All the other items I can obtain again. The e chest will be kinda annoying to obtain again, because that's luck based and you cannot just put hard work in there and get a lot of ender pearls. And all the other stuff, even my gapples, I can find again. I only have nine of them, so that's... Yeah. So there's nothing I can forget. It's just something I could need on my journey, which, which is only food, isn't it? Exciting, exciting. So I'm almost level 30. Let me go AFK now. And I will probably get kicked while being AFK, but see you.
Do you think the AFK timer is lower when you're having a longer session already? XP is coming out of here. Okay. <sighs> Where do I get level now? Should I mine something very quick? There's some coal somewhere for me. Yeah, that pickaxe pig is actually useless. Good that I decided to get a new one first. Hi, Cole. That's my level up. It is. Yeah, look at it. It's only half a pickaxe. I hope my level 30 enchantment of the pickaxe will be unbreaking. feeling that efficiency pickaxes break faster like not time wise but you can also mine less blocks i mean it it's like i it wasn't that broken when i started mining like this one stack of stone it's not like a lot so oh wait Sticks, yeah, diamond. Sure. No, it's a suck pickaxe. Uh, whatever. Sucks to have a suck pickaxe, but Or should I put these? Nah, it's probably good if before I die, let's keep some in my inventory. Does this look like a highway ready inventory to you? Well, it looks to me. Let's go. We did it. We did it in this session and it was unplanned. <laughs> oh man, sometimes things just work out. We're doing it.
the highway. Mm, I'm so excited for this boring walking straight on the highway. Because I feel like I'm entering multiplayer again. You know, it's more likely to find other players and artifacts from other players on the highway than anywhere else. So, do I have a pickaxe that. Well, I could use this one instead. Oh no, where is it? Unbelievable. Please don't die. I don't have a single building block. Wait, let me quickly put a building block down here. Or should I use this as building block? Nah, that's just cool. To, um, you know, build stuff. <laughs> Back on the highway. <laughs> Look at this highway inventory. Ah, fuck, I forgot one potato. So, yeah, exciting, really exciting, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> Heading towards the right direction? Definitely. Well, it's not too exciting though, isn't it? Oh my goodness, back on the highway. I mean, I have some food before I die with all the food. Let me run a bit and jump. And look at the scoreboard without jumping though. Zero nap is back, huh? Nah, don't eat. Hungry already. And like, how long we've been running? Let's say it's one minute. Then we say like one stack lasts one hour. Then it's like one, two, three, four, uh, eight, uh, 12. Uh, oh, what? This is a troll, right? This is this is a troll. The highways are supposed to go to the fucking world board. Ah, I don't believe it. This is just a scam. Like in October, in fucking October. This is a troll, right? In October. This is a, yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Well, I was kind of scared though, but no, 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 you bitches. <laughs> I expected to dig longer though, because like with free cam, you would have seen that, right? Why would you make something and don't troll free cam people? And it's like so close to my base. So people who rage quitted walking the highway there could have end up like next to my base. It's like, if you think about it, I don't know how long this is there though. Like it's probably 
they are since a short time and um, not many people came by and just yeah <laughs> oh man I'm pretty sure this highway goes until the world border I'm pretty sure pretty darn sure that like nowadays even the diagonal highways are all going to the world border or the world corner so to say oh Yeah, yeah, it's still good, uh, good tell. I'm not sure. I was, I was actually planning to base alone to like be sure, but now that I've seen minus Z right now. Uh, wait. Yeah, it's, it's probably boring, but safer to get established at a base far out. chat it's a chat protocol but you know
that I sh should have probably led with that. Huh. Yeah, that's actually a thing I could start thinking about, but um, Well, 20 hours versus a year is a thing. I mean, <clears throat> it also boils down, well, more like to, what, 60 hours, not 20, um, with getting food and shit. But, um, yeah, I made all these breaks. I think he has prior, though, because he was, um, yes. Yeah.
still don't know is if he's like trusty. That's two million, isn't it? No, it isn't. I don't know. No, like 225 is two million, I think. Eighty different drugs. Boy, if you can name eighty drugs. Building is patched. You know, with Bariton and Prio, Prio Cure, things are a little easier, aren't they? <sighs> Should probably get get it as well. Well, at least Bariton, since it's free and open source. I mean, that is something that, um, yeah, it's just my laziness holding it back, um, installing it. Because they say, like, the easiest way to install it is through a hack client. And all these hack clients that have Baritone included are not open source. And well, I, it sounds, I know it sounds kind of stupid, but I actually don't want to install a closed source client. I mean, this whole like open source Minecraft client idea is ridiculous since the game Minecraft is closed source. And uh, yeah, it's, it's bad to play Minecraft in the first place. But, you know, all these open alternatives like Craft, you know, Craft from this one guy written in C, um, very simple supporting multiplayer, um, you know, it, it's creative only though. So it does not have a, you don't, yeah, there's no health yet. There's no PVP. So there's no way to spin up a anarchy server there. Well, just some anarchy um, creative server, which is a whole different type of thing because you don't kill each other, you don't fight for resources. That's a different experience. Um, and there is mind test where, you know, like the new Minecraft graphics look really bad. Like the new gravel haven't really got used to one, that one yet. 
um, the new stones are like the worst um, you know some things are really ugly um, but mine test the default look I'm sure you can tweak it with texture packs and so on but I want to play a game where the default look is really satisfying and yeah mine test sadly is not my taste so that's that also like if you played minecraft the mechanics seem kind of weird i mean you probably get used to that um but it like overall feels less matured you know like less um perfected you know minecraft has been developed like for a long time I think mine test has also some years now but minecraft has like made a lot of money so they they optimize shit they have a big player base they have like you know pvp and stuff like there's like some actually actual skill based fighting mechanics uh, in this block game which is incredible it's not too bad i mean i'm not a pvp and i don't know too much about it but um, well, I know even less about it um, regarding mind test. But I feel like there's no competitive scene. Well, just because there's no competitive PvP scene in mind test doesn't mean there's no potential for that. And I actually don't know if there is one because I haven't looked into the game because it's ugly. But that's like also something when I was seeing it, it it looked ugly and it also like felt kind of less smooth and, and like you you could like make some movements and shit um, but it's probably just different i i don't know and also the menu it is ah, it looks really bad it's it's just hard on the eyes and yeah i rather play a closed source game by microsoft that i already paid for played when i was younger and didn't know that there's something like source code that powers software and um yeah i i rather play that one then which also has this like established community i mean even if i were to switch to a game that i well like more because it's more open and stuff then it's very unlikely to find something as to be there or as constantium or like like a really like a big established anarchy server that is um, That's why I'm here and that's why I stay with vanilla because I don't want to slap on that Java mess, even some custom kids written hacker scripty custom client with advertisements, Google analytics and backdoors and whatnot and crashes that you cannot debug because it's closed and yeah, no. No. So that is why I'm currently still using Vanilla because I haven't found a client that is open, auditable, community driven, accepting pull requests, has straightforward compilation um, that I could like follow myself. Um, yeah, haven't found that one yet. There's Baritone, which is good, which is not a hacked client, but um, which would be something I I would like already. I mean, that's something good. Uh, but yeah, I was like too stupid to follow. Did I even try to follow the instruction, instructions? I think I've read that it's easiest to install it with another client and then I was like, ah, it's probably just annoying and time waste to even try. 
uh, playing around with it because I mean usually when I try to install things everything goes wrong so that's that but I think this forge thingy might be open that you slap on your client and then you can slap things in the there is glowstone not mined on the highway well i have no slot in my inventory to take it with me but i think that might be the first glowstone i've seen on 2b well, it's certainly the closest Gloucester I've seen to the highway. Man, we are back on the highway. Is that like... And we are always um, <clears throat> already at the end of like this episode. So I was probably... Hey, Phil and joined. Um, I was probably a little bit too afraid of this um, kick that um, 2v2t kicks you after a few hours of playing i mean i've been playing since five hours on 2v now what am i doing with my life Anarchy utility mod interior client. I should probably stop pressing with my finger, it will fall off. Not playing vanilla is kind of cringe, guys. Um, I have to disagree. Am I bored already? Am I pulling out my phone and doing shit? Falling down. And dying without like eating one stack of my food. Is that the plan? Da, da, da. There's an overworld highway. You have to gay. <laughs> Sounds kind of funny, doesn't it?
Well, recording since um, over one hour already. I didn't expect to make another cut, but anyways, uh, let's do a cut and see you in the next episode.